had words of tongue and pen, the saddest are these, it might have been. So says the poet, John Williams. In other words, the saddest thing in life is, I regret. Mr. Contest Chair, fellow Toastmasters and guests, do you regret? Yeah, everybody regrets. But do you hold on to your regrets? I am a champion regretter. <laughs> I regret things immediately and violently and for years later. Sometimes I even regret regretting. <laughs> and I have this fantasy that when I die, there may be a magic moment when I can choose to live the same life over or a brand new life. And I always thought I would choose to live the same life over and then erase some of my regrets. But that was before I went to Southern Chile. I started my trip off in a small beach town near Santiago called Viña del Mar. And there I met two interesting guys, Juan and Roberto. Juan, a French master sailor and mechanic, bought an old bus, fixed it up, painted it yellow, and called it the Yellow Submarine. <laughs> and along with Roberto, a Spanish guitarist and singer, they were traveling all over South America having adventures. Roberto saw me play my saxophone on the beach one day and joined me. We had a pretty good time. A few days later, hey Francisco, why don't you join us on the Yellow Submarine, man? We're going to have a pretty good time. You know, I'd like to, Roberto, but I have this airplane ticket to go to southern Chile, and it costs $500, so I can't. Okay. But the next day, we got a job playing in the nightclub, and we were making pretty good money. Again, a few days later. Come on, Francisco, man. Join us on the Yellow Submarine. We're going to make pretty good money. Roberto, you know, I can't. So, they left the party. Almost immediately, I felt bad. Oh, I should have gone with those guys. They were so cool. We would have had a great time. I probably would have saved money sleeping and eating on the bus. I should have burned that ticket. <laughs> But it was too late, and I felt the heavy, paralyzing weight of regret again. Now, there's two reasons why people go to southern Chile, penguins and glaciers. We usually think of water as something that moves and changes, moves in rivers and waves and changes from liquid to solid to gas. But the water in glaciers doesn't move or change much. It's been there for millions of years, longer than people have been on this earth. And glaciers are so solidly solid that they can push mountains. And one night, I snuck down to sleep in front of the glacier. But I couldn't sleep much, because all night long, huge chunks of ice crashed into the sea. And although they were just an infinitesimal part of the hugely massive glacier, it sounded like thunder, and it reminded me of my thunderous regret. <laughs> About that time, I got a message from Roberto. Hey, Francisco, what's going on in southern Chile, man? Give us a report. At first, I felt regret. But then I thought about the glacier, and I focused not on what I had lost, but how much there was left. Okay, I wasn't on the Yellow Submarine bus, but I was a scout for the Yellow Submarine bus. And anyway, I had my own passion and my own bus, the World Saxophone Bus. Kimchi! <laughs> and I felt my mountain of regret shift a little bit. Now, I had known about penguins, but it wasn't until I went to the southernmost city in southern Chile got on a boat, went to a small island of 6,000 penguins that I really started to think about. Penguins are birds, but they don't fly. They've completely changed their nature and adapted to a new environment. And while they're not the greatest walkers in the world, they're probably the cutest walkers in the world. <laughs> and anyway, they get the job done, going up to four kilometers a day to their nest. But what you may not know is that penguins are champion swimmers. 
They can go up to 45 kilometers an hour, and they can zigzag better than almost any fish. And they're birds. One day, I couldn't resist playing my saxophone for the penguins. There was eight of them walking back to their nest, and I started to play them. And they stopped and made a little semicircle and listened for a while. <laughs> then they went on their way. Later, I saw some penguins hooting rhythmically. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> wow, penguins are musical. Penguins are passionate. I was inspired by penguins and glaciers. If they could completely change their nature and adapt to a new environment with passion, maybe I could change my negative nature. And I decided then and there that in the future, I would try to live a life based not on regret, but built on passion. And if I get a chance to choose my next life, I will choose to be a penguin! <laughs> Push mountains with your passion from your own special bus.